Ladies and gentlemen, there is no better place for debating and launching European ideas than Warsaw. If the European idea managed to truly resist somewhere to the benefit of the Western countries, as well as the Eastern ones, then this place is definitely Poland. Please allow me to thank our host today and pay due honor to the historical Polish symbol, particularly this year when we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the first ever free elections held in the former Eastern Europe. It was Poland that opened back then the path on which all other former communist countries from Eastern Europe have later gradually advanced. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you, Poland, again. After 20 years, we are now facing together the problems of this new century, just as promising as is challenging. The global financial and economical crisis has brought together the great economic powers of the West and the so-called emerging economies in front of what seems to be the harshest test of all. The Democrat Liberal Party that I serve as a president has assumed the governance of the country of Romania in a historic moment. Practically, we assume the government just as the crisis started. Our government has not benefited of any kind of grace period or honeymoon with the electorate. For the very first minute of our administration, we had to fight with the crisis. We have to come to rescue our main ally in the fight against the crisis, the private economic sector, by maintaining the level of the income flat tax at 16% and establishing a guarantee fund aimed at financing the private sector as well supporting the exports. We have allocated 20% of the state budget for 2009 for public investments in infrastructure in the fields of transportation, education, public health, environment, energy, and agriculture in order to maintain as well as create new jobs. As regards the social component of our program, we try to protect the most vulnerable categories, that is pensioners and the low-income low employees. We have implemented, for the very first time in the history of the modern Romania, a state minimum social pension. Still, we couldn't have achieved all we intended to without the concrete and solidarity-driven action of European Union. We have recently concluded with the EU and IMF an agreement for financial assistance meant to prevent the abrupt decline of economy as a consequence of economical crisis. Romania, and along with the whole Union eastern flank, is modernizing. Still, the problems at the eastern border of the Union must be properly understood. They tend to become more sensitive and more important in the dramatic circumstances of the current economical crisis. In the context of economical difficulties, the EU is facing today, one thing is becoming more clear. The East and the West cannot be imagined separately anymore. They, the East and the West stand together or fall together. The Eastern border should not become a barrier, but an area of investments and initiatives. They may build confidence of all societies in their European values and institutions. Romania is, is ready to contribute to the creation of an area of stability and prosperity in the eastern border of EU. The Europe of 2009 is facing unprecedented challenges. The elections to be held on 7th of June will reconfirm that the right answer to these challenges are the popular European values. And I mean the realism and not the promises, but the actions. The values we are going to oppose to the crisis are the values of the European Popular Party. Initiative and prosperity for everyone, freedom, solidarity, responsibility, knowledge, family, and social cohesion. And I think there is no better time to prove that the popular solution is the solution from Europe than now. We are facing Yes, a very difficult period of economical crisis. But maybe the challenge is to prove now that the value of EPP, and I mean here responsible short-term market economy, is the right answer for Europe in this moment. Simple, 
First, you have to produce prosperity in order to deliver prosperity to others. So I think it's better time to explain to everybody that the right solution in this moment for Europe is EPP solution. Thank you and success all of you.